Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Catherine Miedemann, and we're at the Southern Carolina landing pad, and our topic today is cybersecurity. And oh, we have lots of wonderful guests, and Lisa, what do you think? Well, I think you're going to learn a lot, so we're going to introduce our fabulous panel. Let them show them, you who they are. I'm John O'Toole, Executive Director of the Beaufort County Economic Development Corporation. I'm Brian Canada. I'm the Chair of the Computer Science and Mathematics Department at the University of South Carolina, Beaufort. I'm Jess O'Brien, the Executive Director at the Beaufort Digital Corridor. So stay right here. We're going to be back with 843 TV. Where communities come to speak. Eight four three TV, where the Low Country comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV. We're here at Base Camp in Beaufort where so much goes on and today we're going to be talking with Brian Canada who is PhD and he is in charge of the computer science and math at USCB and we're going to learn all about you in the programs today. So thanks for having us. It's my pleasure to be here. Tell us uh, viewers a little bit about your educational background. Well a little bit of my background is uh, my bachelor's degree was in chemical engineering from Penn State. Worked for ExxonMobil. Go for, Nittany Lions, right? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> uh, worked for a couple years uh, with uh, ExxonMobil. And at some point, I decided I wanted to have a little more creative control over my professional career. So I left the corporate world and eventually made my way back to Penn State to uh, study not chemical engineering, but uh, a new discipline called bioinformatics. So it was basically computational biology that I thought would be an interesting um, you know, departure from my background in engineering, but still take advantage of quantitative and other skills that I was interested in developing. And so I finished my PhD in 2010, and uh, USCB just happened to be advertising for a, uh, a position for a new assistant professor who had a focus in computational biology. And I w was initially interested in maybe doing a postdoc, but I'm like, no, I think I might want to, you know, jump right into being a professor. And so they hired me. I joined in. 2011 and um, uh, became department chair in 2018. So. Well, that's what a career. I mean, we have a brainiac here, as we can tell. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, coming down to the Low Country 12 years ago, and now you know, USBC, the, the school was just sort of developing and, de and defining itself here in the Bluffton area, and you've been part of it. You have seen mm -hmm. the growth, and you've been part of how this, the department has changed and moved forward. So tell us a little bit about the progression since you started and where we are now. Yeah, so the program was very small to start off with. Computational science was the undergraduate major that had just been created at, at USCB and, and that program was being funded by a National Science Foundation grant. And uh, we just had a handful of students starting out. Uh, it was just myself and one other faculty member initially and then we hired uh, a third professor a few months later. And uh, But it proved to be one of the fastest growing majors uh, because there really wasn't anything like it. It was a great, um, I don't want to, you know, take too long to get into it, but computational science is a very unusual undergraduate discipline. It's usually a graduate level discipline. Um, but I saw it as like anybody who's interested in computer science or engineering, like this would be a great uh, major to have uh, for, for a traditional uh, student coming out of high school. And uh, so we saw fairly explosive growth, actually. And uh, right now we're looking at about 100 undergraduates in, in, the, in the program uh, between our computational science major and our newer uh, Bachelor of Science uh, degree program in information science technology. So tell us about the cyber defense program. That's kind of a, a big thing now. Tell yeah. us about that and what kind of pers pursuits that is. Yeah, so mm -hmm. a few years back, um, you know, there was uh, this interest in developing an, a cybersecurity ecosystem here in, uh, in Beaufort. And, and that uh, took, the, took the form of the South Coast Cyber Center, which is a consortium of organizations and institutions. USCB and uh, Technical College of the Low Country are the uh, primary educational partners in this institution, but also the Beaufort Digital Quarter, the Beaufort Chamber of Commerce, and the Beaufort County Economic Development Corporation. They're all part of this effort to try to uh, develop um, education and workforce in cybersecurity here. And uh, one of the motivations for that was uh, that USCB had the potential to get certified as a center of academic excellence in cyber defense. And this is a certification that comes from the United States National uh, Security Agency and the Department of Homeland Security. 
Uh, so this is kind of a big deal. When yeah. students or when uh, colleges uh, get this certification, it becomes very transformative. There's a school in uh, the Dakotas, for example, that uh, um, you know just exploded in growth as a result of getting this certification. So we're hoping that lightning will strike here as well. Yeah. And uh, But TCL is also uh, working towards this same certification um, that um, they're probably going to get it before we do because they've already had um, a cybersecurity curriculum uh, going going on for a while now, and, and so you know they're a little further ahead. Uh, but um, in, as part of playing catch up, you know, USCB took our information science and technology major and introduced a new concentration in cybersecurity, whose uh, um, program objectives align very nicely with the knowledge units that are expected for the DHS to award us a. a, a so this is really exciting because yeah. we've been talking about this for a couple of years here. We've been hearing we about it, and now mm -hmm. you have your certification, your credit uh, credits for it, which is exciting. And then just add a quick question before we leave, because you know when you talk about mathematics and, and computer science majors, give us mm -hmm. a practical, when somebody graduates with that degree, where could they go? What kind of profession does that take them to? Well, it, it really depends on which of our uh, majors they, they ultimately study. If you're doing something like computational science, for example, which has been our bread and butter for a while, many of those students end up working as software engineers and, and web developers. Uh, students who pursue our information science technology major, um, we're just starting to see them graduated uh, because it was one of our newer programs. And so uh, they've been working as, say, IT specialists and, and on the IT management track in, in certain organizations like, you know, like the government, for example. Uh, I would expect the same to happen for those students who are pursuing our cybersecurity concentration. So we're expecting them, our first graduates in that program, to um, uh, walk at commencement this coming academic mm -hmm. year. And so uh, we're developing the last uh, set of courses that, that they need for graduation. So they will probably end up working in um, as cybersecurity staff somewhere, probably for a government. Um, it's, uh, it's a little too early to tell. Um, and I think part of, um, part of where they end up may very well depend on their, whether they elect to you know, pursue their own certifications uh, in some area of cybersecurity. Do they find that they need to go on to grad school or can they find employment after their, their, their undergrad degree? Well, we do have a graduate program at USCB. It's uh, um, one of just two graduate programs at, at uh, USCB. We have a Master of Science in Computational Science. And, uh, um, but to answer your question more directly, um, most of our students do end up joining the workforce, and uh, in many cases I'll tell students, like, if you can get a job with this degree, go ahead and just go for it and get your life started. Mm -hmm. And uh, then if you feel the itch of, of right. uh, you know, wanting to, you know, mm -hmm. further your education, uh, then think about co coming to graduate school. Well, this Great has been advice. delightful, yeah. hasn't it? I mean, I'm <laughs> inspired. I, I just wonderful for the students and, and their future, for their employment. Mm -hmm. So, Brian, we want to thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thank you. Yeah. And we pleasure. will be right back with more A43 TV.